Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today for my March check-in. I don't know what to, I don't know what's going on. March check-in for my hashtag Team Project Pan 2021. So technically this is my second full month of progress. Um, and in a month's time, I believe it's the quarterly refresh. So I want to get as much of this done and as much sort of niggly progress sort of completed and sorted out by next month. Um, and yeah, then I'll swap a few things out if need be, or just keep going the way I'm going, which is pretty good so far. So if you're new here and you're not sure what a project pan is, look, they take many forms, many styles. The one that I like to do is a full face rolling project pan. Um, so essentially I take products from my makeup routine, almost all steps and some of my skincare routine as well. And I focus on them to use them up. The goal of this is just to use what you have. Um, I have quite a large makeup collection. I want to use things up before they go off and go old. Um, and that's what the point of this is. Now there is a hashtag in the title and also the description box. So if you want to find other videos like this or you do content like this and you want to sort of join the uh, Team Project Pan community, feel free to use the hashtag or click on the hashtag to find more people. Um, and let's just get into my progress. Now, my goal was to at least use one thing up every month. I did that at my one month check-in and I've done it at my second month check-in. Um, so when I do use something up, I will replace it with something else. So I always have some progress happening on each sort of um, part of my makeup routine. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, I was up very late last night filming and I don't know what's going on. All right, the first thing that I used up and I only introduced this last month, so I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just burning through hand cream. Um, this is the Glass House Casablanca hand cream. I did mark where I was up to when I introduced it. It's quite a thin hand cream, easy to use a lot of it. I was also using this on my feet during the day because it's hot and I wear sandals a lot, your feet get dry. Um, so I use that up completely. Now I realized I don't have another hand cream to replace that with um, because, well I do, I have other hand creams, but I've got like the bare minimum that I like to keep. I've got one next to my bed, I've got one at my desk, and I've got one in my handbag. And I don't want to use up any one of those because then I have to buy more. So instead of a hand cream, I'm swapping in a body product. This is, looks like a little bottle of milk, which is quite nice. This is the Fourth Ray Beauty Pink Grapefruit Body Milk. It's a very, very, very thin body lotion. Um, and we are currently in autumn in Australia. We've just ticked over from summer to autumn. Um, and when it is winter, I sort of like a heavier body lotion or a body oil. So this is very, very lightweight. I thought I should use it up Look at the consistency, like, it's like milk. It's like milk, not quite, it's like cream. Thickened cream that hasn't been whipped. That's what this is like, to be specific. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll try to use this up before it gets into like the colder weather and I want something a little bit more hydrating. And I have marked here where it's up to. I've only used this a couple of times. It's really nice on the arms and the area of your body. Um, like I find my back and like my chest, if I put body lotion on it, I often break out because I'm quite an oily person. Something like light like this, um, I can sort of put all over without a problem. So I feel like I'll burn through this really fast, which is good for project panning, good for decluttering stuff. Um, I don't love this. I don't feel like it's hydrating enough. It does smell really nice though, because it's grapefruit. So again, it's sort of like that nice, refreshing, sort of uplifting scent. So I'm going to focus on this and I think I'll go through that pretty fast, to be honest. Next thing I finished up, and this was no surprise because I adore this fragrance. It's the DKNY Be Delicious Fresh, Fresh Blossom. Just a little travel size. Um, last look, originally it was up to here, then it was down to there, and then I used it up. I actually repurchased a full like 100ml bottle of this because I love it so much. So um, yeah, this was a joy to put on every day. So I did use it up pretty fast. It wasn't a surprise. Um, what I've decided to work in uh, instead is again, some more sort of samples. I do have the original version of this in this little travel size. So I will work that in later in the year, but I recently uh, got for Hermes uh, fragrances. This one is the rose scent. I don't know how big this is, um, but essentially it's a nice little sort of uh, sample thing. I went to Hermes with a friend. She was buying a scarf. We were in there for ages and the lady gave us each four little 
perfume samples, two of rose, two of vanilla. Um, I thought they were fun to use up because you can mark them. They've got a nice sprayer and I can't imagine them lasting too long. So just a little like project work on the little perfume samples. So that's going to be the next thing I'm focusing on. I used up my peach perfect. Oh, don't drop it. Uh, my peach perfect uh, mattifying loose setting powder Phew, fluff. My cat sits on this chair now. So if you're what if you watch my channel and you're like, okay, when you're sitting on the couch, there's no cats in the background because my baby grabs the cats. So he's getting gentle, which is good, but they now sit on this chair. So it's covered in fluff. It is what it is. Anyway, so fluff is in the air is my point. Um, anyway, I, um, I used up this now, I think last check-in I used around 20 grams of it. This is 35 grams. So I was using it an, an, at an alarming rate. And not only, okay, I've got oily skin, I need to set my base, um, but for some reason I was using so much of this, and in the past I never used it that fa fast. Now I think I realized the culprit, now where is it? This, this primer. I feel like this primer is the culprit. Um, you can see that I have used it. I feel like whenever I put this under my foundation, which is my Project Pan foundation, this just adds a layer of sort of dewiness that takes a lot of powder to bloody set down. So I feel like when I use this, I use a lot of powder. And so this was an unusual amount of powder that I've used up. Um, I'm aware of that. It's crazy, but I blame this. So there's that, that I've identified the problem because other, I don't usually use as much powder. All right, not that it matters too much, but I will weigh this just to see like how much I did use in the last month. Um, it was at 97.07 grams and now it's at about 90, 0.34 grams. So I used about seven grams. Um, I just lost an earring. My day just keeps getting better. All right, let's pretend that never happened. Um, anyway, so yeah, I used this up pretty fast and I actually did swap in a different powder about a week and a half ago, about a week ago. I don't know. So I'm swapping it out for my Nabla close up baking and setting powder translucent powder. I will weigh this to get the baseline. Um, the main reason I've been focusing on this, um, so this is probably like two thirds of the way full. It is 30 grams as well. So this was 35, this is 30 grams. Um, so I need a lot of powder to finish up that primer. So I thought I'll go with this one. Um, but the main reason I decided to pick this one over anyone else is that Let's be real, I don't mind this powder, it works. Uh, it's very good at mattifying the skin and it is translucent, which is great. But I do have more flattering powders in my powder collection. So I just thought that I'm gonna use up the ones that work and look good, but aren't like my favorite favorites. And this is not a favorite favorite. So even though it's fine, um, that's why I'm focusing on it. But you know, I'll weigh that, we'll get a baseline. All right, those are the things that I've used up. So I think three is, pretty good. We're on track for getting some good progress. However, I am going to preemptively add in a couple of other things. So if you look at my Mac fix plus, uh, finishing spray, I'm not sure if you can see it's right down the bottom. Now I was trying to use this earlier today and it's like splattering everywhere and it's like not picking up the product as well anymore. Um, so I feel like there's only a few applications left, but I thought instead of pushing out this video until like next week. I'll just check in now, let you know what it's up to. I'll use it over the next few days and then I'll switch over to another um, finishing spray so I'm not losing progress on finishing sprays. So the one that I'm going to target is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is a beautiful mist. I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to using it. Um, it's got this beautiful layer of oil, but only a small amount of oil. So you shake it up. Um, it gives a bit of hydration to the skin, a little bit of um, oil, which is good, good oil. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to using this, seeing the progress, and I'm just going to enjoy this. So that's the one I'm going to be working in after I use up this, which should only be in a few days time. I'm also doing the same sort of concept with my, uh, this is the Lana Lips Lip Water. Now you can see I've made some like record progress on this. I'll show you, I'll hold it up and do that sort of like weird booty guru thing. So hopefully you can see that I've made some good progress uh, in the last month compared to the month before. And the reason um, I've made such good progress is um, 
Over the last month, I was taking, testing MAC lipsticks out for my Project Apocalypse. And there was one day that I lip swatched, I think it was 38 or 39, yeah, 38 lipsticks and took photos of them. And it took me a long time to do that, but it also like made my lips really dry. So the following few days after that, I was hitting up this like, I was using it like 10 times a day. Maybe not quite that much, but a lot. I was using this a lot. So I feel like if I just keep making sure I put it on when I'm sitting at my computer, I'll be able to use this up just anytime soon. Also because it is sort of right at the base, I feel like it's gonna be hard to get. So it's gonna to get to a point where I'm like, look, it's not even worthwhile digging and trying to get the product out. Um, I might cut it and squeeze it out. I'm not sure, but I feel like there's only a few uses left of that. So I am, again, sort of preemptively adding in another lip treatment. This is ultraviolet uh, sheen screen hydrating lip balm in the shade peach. Now this has been reformulated. It's now SPF 50, but this is SPF 30. So this is the older version. I do have the newer version, so I thought there's no point holding on to both. Um, you know, I do wear sunscreen every day and uh, I don't put sunscreen on my lips. So this is something that's great um, just to wear when you're out and about in the sun. Um, so right now it's quite up to the top. So I just squeeze it down and mark it. Um, and I'm just gonna track the progress. This is a really thick lip balm. It's sort of like the traditional Lanolips lip balms that are really, really thick. So I feel like a little will go a long way. So this will take me quite some time to work through. Probably take me all year. But um, yeah, I thought I'll just start introducing that now. All right, the next things are just progress, showing you progress. Um, the first one is my foundation. Hopefully you can see that I'm making some good consistent progress. So this is the Australis Fresh and Flawless Full Coverage Foundation. This shade for me is a little bit too dark. I do have one that's lighter and is more true to my skin tone. Um, usually I do mix this with the Essence Lightning Drops. That's how I've been using it previously. Um, but last week I did fake tan and I also put like tanning drops in my moisturizer a couple of nights. And now I can wear this just on its own. So I feel Feel like if I do that over the next month um, since I'll be using more of this because I pretty much used like two-thirds this one-third this um, since I'll be just using this if I do keep up a bit of a tan I'll be able to burn through this a lot faster than I have previously it's very very liquidy and it's in a um, sort of squeezy bottle so I feel like I can get right down to the end and all I have to do is sort of like hold it up like this to get all the product dripping down to the bottom so um, I'm almost confident that over the next month I'll be able to use this. I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice to apply with um, like a sponge or something. I just, yeah, I like it. I feel like it can be a bit streaky with a brush, but with a sponge or one of those Velour Puff type products, this just applies beautifully. I really enjoy it. So there's that. Let's just talk about my primer again. I'm not loving this, but I am using it. Um, so again, I've got that mark down here. So I'm sort of slowing the progress a bit. I started up here and went down to the pink, now down to the neon orange, but I do feel like there was like less product in that top part there. So um, maybe now that I'm getting to the wider bottom area, it's gonna take longer, but also I'm a little bit reluctant to use this because like I said, it makes my foundation quite dewy and I need to set the crap out of it. So I will endeavor to use this like hopefully by next month. Again, that's sort of like the quarterly refresh. It'd be really nice to get as many products done and out as possible. Um, it is doable, but again, I'm sort of quite conservative with applying this because it does, it's, it's, it feels a little bit greasy on me and it's not my favorite. All right, I'm making some good progress on my, I think it's Cotia. It's a New Zealand deer milk exfoliating cleansing milk. I do like this as a cleanser, so it's a cream cleanser, um, but I am using it fast. So introduced it there, last month it was here, down to here. I feel like that is not much usage left. I was tempted to include another cleanser, but I thought, no, what I might do, I've got a couple open. I've got one in mind that I think I'll be focusing on, um, but I want to sort of play around. If this takes me a week or something to use, I want to spend the rest of the time uh, in March, just playing around and figuring out what I want to focus on. But yeah, good progress on this, nearly done. I do feel like I overuse that though. You could definitely be a lot more conservative than, than I am. Since I sort of want it done, I'm just like, yeah, pump as much as I want and smear it on and bleh. So um, yeah, I, I could be slower, but I'm not. <laughs> Let's just talk about the um, 
uh, Cotia Hydrating Day Cream SPF 15 and also the Regenerating Night Cream. So I'm also using up these fairly fast. I feel like there's about a quarter left in there. It's really hard to see. So just take my word for it. It's sort of like down to around here. Whereas when I introduced it, it was up into that white area. So um, I have been using it consistently. I've mainly been using the day cream consistently. Um, the night cream I've been alternating with another product with the night cream as well. I'm sort of almost right down the bottom. If I no, I've got like, look, a nail's worth left. So, you know, I've still, I'll probably finish it or come very close to finishing it next month. Um, that will be what I endeavor to do. Moisturizers are easy to sort of apply extra. You just bring it down your neck and onto your chest a little bit if you really want to use it up. So um, yeah, I'll try to use this up by next month. These are also really annoying to show progress on because I'm like, here, can you see? And you're like, no, I can't. Not enjoyable to watch, but I am making progress. All right, let's talk about the last visual products and then we'll start weighing products. Um, my Shoal Heal Balm, I'm using this sort of slow and steady. It's a very sticky heal balm. I don't like to use too much of it. I often put it on before I go to bed, but not every night. So again, I'm just making a sort of slow progress. This will probably go for another couple of months. Um, and look, realistically, and someone did comment on my last video and they are totally right. Um, I should focus on using this more in winter and use the sort of gel cooling one that I currently have in the warmer weather. But um, in Melbourne at the moment, we've got like really choppy weather. It's hot a couple of days and then quite cold and rainy. So I'll just use these on the cold days. Um, I just want it done because it's taking up room and I, I don't like... I've got enough clutter. I don't, I want to get rid of it. So that's why I'm still focusing on it, even though it's not sort of the right weather for it, but I'm making progress. Um, okay, MAC products. I've got my paint pot uh, in Painterly. I do use this pretty much every day um, and there is a nice dip in it. I might zoom in, but you're not going to really see much realistically, except there's a fluff in there that doesn't look great. I'll zoom in really quickly so you can see what I'm talking about and I'll show you the paint pot, not paint pot, fluid line as well. All right, there'll be a photo on the screen. Um, I don't know if it shows much, but there is a nice dent in here. I do use it as my base. I really enjoy it. Sometimes I just use it as an eyeshadow. I really enjoy it. Um, there we go. Progress, sort of. I'm seeing more progress on my MAC fluid line in past Twilight. I did clean out that glass bit a little bit. Um, and I do use it fairly regularly, so um, I'm confident I will use this this year. Um, and if I'm, yeah, I'm not going to make promises because sometimes I go through phases of not using eyeliner. But, um, you know, there is some visible progress there, which is nice. All right, last visible progress things are my eyebrow pencils. Um, I don't know how I'm going with these. I'll have photo comparison on the screen like I normally do because it's sort of hard to see just being like, here you go. I do think this progress is only this amount left, like a thumbnail's worth left, which is good. Um, I do use this every day to fill in the bulk of my brows. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. If I miss anything or don't say the shades, I have them listed in the description box. Um, and then I also have the Precisely My Brow Pencil, uh, which I use to sort of go in and mimic hairs. Now, again, this has the same amount, probably like a thumbnail, um, short thumbnail length left. Um, now I was aiming to get these done before I get my brows tattooed. Now I get them tattooed this weekend. So um, I don't think this, I finished them in time. I definitely know I didn't finish them in time. Um, but it just means that I will keep these in my project. Um, or look, I'll see how I go. I might still need to occasionally fill in my brows or darken my brows I don't know how the results are going to go. Um, who knows? I might still need to occasionally reach for these if I'm wearing a full face of makeup and I want my brows to be a bit more bold. I don't know. So um, I'll reassess in the next month if I'm going to keep these in my project or if I think I can realistically finish them. Um, but I will let you know next check-in. All right, time for weighing products. I've got my Revlon concealer here. So I have been using this the only concealer no I lie I've got two concealers open one's in my handbag and this is the only one at my makeup table so it is consistently the one I use every single time I do my makeup um, that was at look 17.08 grams and now it's roughly 15.67 so 
look about a gram and a half. This contains only 6.2 mils. So I am using this at a pretty good rate. When I do um, put my wand in there, I can see scrapes on the side. So I'm starting to use it up, but I do feel like there's a couple of months left in this, which I'm totally fine with. Cause again, my only concealer, so I may as well let it go as long as possible. All right, I've got my Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Pencil. I introduced this last month after I used up my brown one. And um, let's see the progress. I've used it a few times, but not heavily because it is a blue gray shade. So I don't use it too, too much. All right, so that was at 5.19 grams. It's now saying it's about 5.17 grams. So I've used a very small amount, but I can say from using up the last one that the packaging is about 5.11 grams. So realistically, um, I can use this up in the next couple of months with that still small amount of progress. So I'll keep going with that. Uh, let's go mascara. I've been using this to death. I've been using it a lot. So hopefully we see some good results. All right, that was at 22.55 grams. It's now at 21.67 grams, but nearly a full gram of use is really good for a mascara. Usually mascaras are like, it's like, I don't know, pulling teeth trying to get some progress, but I have been using this a lot and I've been really enjoying it and it is starting to dry out a bit. So it sort of applies a lot more than I was um, anticipating at the start. So I think I'm doing well with that one and I'm fine to keep that one going because I like it. Uh, last thing is the brow um, gel product. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel Mini. Um, this look again, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of that when I've got my brows done. Realistically, I don't use it too much because it is like just extra bulk on my brows. I feel in it a lot as it is. So it's sort of an extra step that I don't often do. So there's not much progress. It was at 9.69 grams. It's now at 9.54 grams. So more progress than I thought. Often what I, not often, sometimes what I do with this as well is I'll scrape it out from the wand, put on the back of my hand and use an angle brush to fill in my brows with it. So I do occasionally do that, <laughs> but I ironically use it as like the dip brow pomade. So what's the point of me having it in this format? I don't think this format's for me. Look, if I don't get much use out of this after I get my brows tattooed, I'm actually going to declutter this because it's getting dry and it clearly isn't something that I really need. So there we go. The last thing to check in on is the one thing that I haven't made any progress as far as I'm aware. I don't think I've used this or if I have, it's like once. So I did use half of it last year and I wanted to use up half the other half this year. Um, but I do have another sort of pan that palette project going on and I've been using the bronzer in that face palette a lot. Now I will film that video soon, so it might be the next one up. Um, but as soon as I sort of move on from using the bronzer in that palette, I will come back to this one. So I'm not going to take this out of the project, um, even though I'm not seeing any results. Cause I know that as soon as I use that other one up, um, I'll make some really fast progress on this. So, um, yeah, that's it. So I'm really happy with my progress. I've used up three, anticipating using up another two products in the next maybe week or so. Um, and I've got some new stuff to play with, which is good. So I've definitely been using this basket of makeup pretty much every single day I do makeup. So I'm seeing some really good progress. So yeah, I'm enjoying this year's Project Pan. I like the products. I'm getting good use out of them. So uh, yeah, I'd love to know how you're going. If you're doing a Project Pan, what's your favorite thing to pan? What's the thing that you get most satisfaction about and also like the thing that you find easiest to pan. I'd love to know that. And if you're having any difficulties with products, let me know which products you struggle with. I know for me, generally lip colors are really, really hard and eyeshadows, but I, because I've got the pan that palette, I'm not actually incorporating them in this video. So this feels a lot easier than if I had those in. Um, but it means that my pan that palette's probably harder. Oh, it is what it is. It balances out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.